caramelization, baby. No explanation needed. The sun is out and it's getting warmer and all I can think about are tacos. Give me tacos now and an ice cold beer and let me just sit out on the porch and enjoy what's about to be summer. And what better way to kick off taco season than with a shrimp taco. I'm going to be coating the shrimp in a dry rub and then cooling it all down with a lime crema slaw. And it's really not that hard to do. I'm gonna show you how to make it every step of the way. Starting with this guy here. It's so beautiful. This is a Savoy cabbage. And a Savoy cabbage is basically a green cabbage, but it has these fun little curly leaves. And it's a little bit more mild in taste and it's great for slaws like this. It's a little bit more tender too. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut the bottom off my cabbage here. And then I'm gonna set it on my cutting board and I'm gonna cut it directly in half. And then you need to core your cabbage. So I'm going to take my knife here and I'm just gonna cut that core right out. Give it a nice pull. Ooh. Cabbage everywhere. <laughs> and then I'm gonna cut it in half one more time. So it's in quarters. And then you can either take your knife and make very thin slices or I'm gonna use my favorite tool here, a mandolin. And this is gonna make thin slices for me. Total destruction. It's a messy job, but it's worth it. Got all my, oh. <laughs> it just got worse. <laughs> it's so worth it though, because we're gonna make the most amazing slaw. So we gotta do a little bowl transfer here, because there's just so much cabbage. Doesn't that look like way more than just the one medium cabbage? It's time to add some onion. I have some thinly sliced red onion here, about half of a red onion. We're gonna add that right into our cabbage. And then I'm going to make our amazing lime crema. All that is, is sour cream. I have some garlic here quite a bit of garlic, all finely minced. And then I'm going to add in some lime. So not just lime juice, but I'm gonna add the zest too. So I have my microplane here, which is basically a zester. And I'm just gonna take the zest right off both of my limes. I got my bald limes here. And it's time to give them a nice squeeze right into our sour cream mixture. So the final touch is just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then I'm gonna go in and mix this all up into our beautiful crema. Look at how beautiful. Doesn't that look just so yum? And I gotta try, come on. Gotta make sure everything's balanced. Mm. Perfect amount of lime. It's garlicky. Mm. Man oh man. Okay, so we're going to take about half of this crema here and put it right into our slaw. We're gonna get it, give it a good toss until it's totally combined. I'm gonna set my slaw aside even though I really don't want to because I just wanna like bury my face in it and eat it till it's gone. <laughs> but we need to work on our shrimp. So I have some cooked shrimp here that I defrosted, it was frozen before, and then patted it dry and took the tails off. You can also usually buy them in the grocery store without the tails on them. So I need to make our dry rub for our shrimp. And there's four ingredients. And I always like to do this. So 
Eric thinks I'm nuts, but I like to take all the spices that I wanna add to something and stick it up to my nose at the same time. Oh. And you know, whether it smells good, it's gonna taste good. So always do that before you make a spice blend. So in this little container, I have some onion powder and some garlic powder. And I'm gonna add that right into my shrimp. And then I have some smoked paprika and some chili powder. The chili powder is going to give the shrimp almost that chili taste, like chili as in the soup. It's a nice spice blend. And then the smoked paprika is obviously very smoky and intense. And it's just gonna be the perfect flavors when we mix them all together and coat the shrimp. It smells so good. It's time to bring the shrimp over to the stove and we're gonna make them nice and caramelized and just fabulous. Let's go. So all I did was I put a little bit of vegetable oil right in a big skillet like this and then preheated the pan over really high, high heat and then added our shrimp to the vegetable oil. And now they're just gonna cook away, the liquid's gonna dissipate and there's gonna be no more liquid left and the shrimp is gonna be so caramelized and amazing. So you wanna let these go for about five or six minutes. Caramelization, baby. <laughs> Give me that one. <laughs> it looks so good and it smells even better. And it's finally time to assemble. So I have a corn tortilla here. You can also use flour, but I just think corn is really awesome for this. And I'm just going to take a little bit of slaw you don't wanna go crazy with the amounts because you wanna be able to close the tacos and actually eat them. And then I'm gonna take some shrimp, just like this, put it right on the top. And then moving on, I'm gonna add just a little dollop or two of that crema kind of all around. I have just a little bit of cotija cheese, which is a drier, more robust queso fresco. It's a little bit more crumbly and it's perfect to put on tacos like this. You're just gonna give it a nice little zhuzh. And then the final touch is just a little pinch of cilantro. Add that right on there and garnish with some lime wedges. I'm gonna go ahead and make a bunch of tacos and then it's time to dig in. No explanation needed. Bite time. It is like summer on a plate. The shrimp is caramelized. The slaw just brings everything together. The lime is like a pop of freshness. Check this out on tastefullyrace.com. You won't regret it. You gotta see the destruction. Do you like my pink little slippers? <laughs> 